Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding the change in global rankings and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called team points with three different columns, team ID, name and points. Team ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the ID of a national team, the name of the country it represents and the points it has in the global rankings. No two teams will represent the same country. Okay. We are also given a second table called points change with two different columns, team ID and points change. Team ID is the primary key for this table. Each row of this table contains the ID of a national team and the change in its points in the global rankings. Points change can be zero, no change in points, positive, increase in points or negative, decrease in points. Each team ID that appears in team points, so the table above this, it will also appear in this table. Okay. The global ranking of a national team is its rank after sorting all the teams by their points in descending order. If two teams have the same points, we break the tie by sorting them in by their name in lexicographical order. The points of each national team should be updated based on its corresponding points change value. We are asked to write a SQL query to calculate the change in global rankings after updating each team's points. So basically different teams have several points at this moment. Then there is a points change table where the points might have changed or remained same. And then after you apply that points change, what is the new ranking? And then what is the difference between the initial ranking and the new rank that you got, right? So that is what we need to calculate. The order of the result doesn't matter. So here, if we go through this example, right? So for example, we have four different teams, right? So based on the points, which one is going to be the first? Senegal, because highest point, then Croatia second, then Algeria third, and New Zealand four. Then you, you know, add or subtract these, and then based on that, you arrange by the new points in descending order, and then you see, right? So for example, here, this is what we had. Then after applying, you know, these points change. So increase, no change, you know, increase, decrease, etc. This is the new ranks. So if you see what is the difference in ranks for Senegal, it, it was first. Now again, it is first, right? So zero. Croatia went down by one. So minus one, it should be right. Algeria, you know, climbed one point in the rank. So plus one and New Zealand remained the same. So again, zero. And that is what we have in the output, right? So to develop this query, what we need to do is the first thing is we should try to find out our initial rank. So right, basically, uh, you know, based on these different points uh, arranged in descending order, what was the initial point? And then, you know, uh, using the points change table, try to find out the new rank, right? Now, since it is mentioned that every, you know, each team ID that appears in team points will also appear in this table, then you know, to make this task, you know, even easier, what we can do is we can start with performing a join with these two tables, right? So that we have this, you know, the team ID name points and the change in points in one location, right? And then, you know, we can uh, try to find out the initial rank and then the rank after, you know, applying the points change. Okay. So from this table called team points, right let's alias it as t let's left join right the points change table aliased as p on t dot team id is equal to p dot team id okay so now once we have that then what all do we need to keep just the team id name their initial points and the change in points, right? And then we are making the two new columns, initial rank and new rank, right? So let's keep the team ID from, we can keep from both of these. So let's keep from team points. So T dot team ID, then let's keep the name. So T dot name, keep the points. So T dot points and the points in points change is in the this table, right? So P dot points change. Now we are going to create 
a new column called initial rank based on you know sorting this column in decreasing order okay so we can do this by using the ranking function right so there are three different ranking functions row number rank and dense rank let me know why shouldn't we use rank or dense rank or can we use rank or dense rank i am going forward with row number let me know like if you know what is the advantages of one over the other right so row number right and then since we are using a window function we write the over clause and how do we so first we need to you know order by points in decreasing order because the maximum points should get rank one right or row number one so order by points in decreasing manner and then it also says that if there is a tie you know between two countries then it should be ordered in their lexicographic manner basically in name by ascending order right so we write name and then let's alias this thing as initial rank right so this is the rank right now now after applying point chain watch is what is going to be the new rank right so again same thing row number right and then we are using a window function so over clause order by order by in this case points plus points change why is this going to work because the signs are already like for example in this table if you know it was you know there was a third column here we only would have you know 399 0 13 22 and then you know increase no change increase decrease something like that then what we had to do was the first thing we should do was you know to make sure to use the case when statements assign the appropriate sign and then perform this points plus points in but since our task is easy here because the points change is already has a negative or a positive number or is zero based on increase or decrease so if we just go ahead and add that column you know with the points we are going to get the final points right so that is what it is doing so order by points plus point chase in decreasing order so what it is doing is it is firstly adding the points table the points column and the points change then you know a, a sorting in de decreasing order and then by name again because of the lexicographic order that is asked in the question and then assigning the row number right so basically after applying the points chain which is the maximum you know which one has the maximum rank and then the second best third best etc and let's alias this as new rank right let me go ahead and run this right obviously this is not entire so this is going to return a wrong answer but i just want to demonstrate what this is going to return right okay so here we have team id we kept team id name and points points change and then initial rank and new rank so for example for senegal right so it was maximum so initial rank was one final rank one was was one again right so if you see right so initial rank one final rank one for croatia initial rank was two and final rank is three right or no new rank is three so croatia initial two new rank three algeria initially three new two and new zealand it was four and it is still four right so now we have that now what we can do is we can store this in a common table expression right so with ct as and let's put this entire thing in parenthesis now from this common table expression our output should have only three different things right the team id name and a column that we need to calculate based on basically subtract initial rank and final rank right so return the team id right the team id return the name and then what do we need to do is rank difference so if you see right so croatia it says minus one croatia initially was at two and then went to three so when it is going lower in the rank we need to treat it as you know negative that is you know it is going lower in the rank so initial rank minus new rank and not new rank minus initial rank right so for example algeria right so initial was three new is two so 
it is 3 minus 2 that is 1 which means that it climbed up in the ladder right so that is what we do initial rank minus final rank and then alias this as what is the output okay so rank diff okay so everything looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens it is going to be very interesting okay so it says big int unsigned value is out of range something like that like basically it is throwing us an error why is this an error and why are we doing like are we doing something wrong here okay let me you know just for the sake of it you know let me just change this negative to plus obviously this is not what the question is asking but let me you know just try to see whether what i have written is correct or not right okay okay so it is a wrong answer but it is executing right so initially you know if you see it is returning me values right so senegal it was one initially and the new one was new rank is one so one plus one is two right Algeria it was initially what uh, Algeria was yeah so three and then two so three two five same for Croatia New Zealand it was four initially and the new was four so it should be eight right so if you see it is allowing me to add but not subtract then like the logic is correct but what is this you know what what problem is this so actually here we need to learn about the concept of signed and unsigned values right so here since we are using window function row number and row number is basically a ranking function right so our ranking also always starts with one right so what it is doing what mysql is doing is whatever integers it is assigning to these you know row number basically when we use row number in initial rank and new rank those are unsigned integer values right so unsigned integer values goes from zero to a large number like you don't need to remember the large number but all you need to know is unsigned values don't take negative values right so it can take zero to some large positive number right signed on the other case signed integers can take ne from negative something to positive something so it can take negative values right so what is happening in this case is when i am doing this right so now you understand right both the initial rank and the new rank have unsigned values in it right now when i do plus right so obviously when i am doing plus the uh, you know the value the range of the values is not being you know compromised because you add one plus one and everything it everything is going to be positive right but the problem is coming when i am subtracting right so initial rank right so senegal for it is not a problem because it was you know initially one then new rank is also one so is zero and unsigned values can take the value zero same for new zealand right same for uh, algeria because three minus two is one the problem is because of this croatia why because initially it was rank two and now it is rank three when i am subtracting two and three right so i am getting negative one but the problem is i am subtracting two unsigned values and the value that i am getting is is signed which is not allowed because it is outside the range right and that is why when i run this it tells me big in unsigned value is out of range so to take care of this what we need to do is we need to cast these values as signed right so what i will do is cast this value initial rank as signed that is you are allowed to take negative values as well and then cast these values new rank as well to signed right and then when i run this it is accepted right our output is same as expected output and we have the negative value for croatia right because signed integers or signed values can take negative values as well right so let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases 
so yeah this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it now this question was easy but here you have to know about signed and unsigned and why you know row, row number is assigning an unsigned values right so obviously because row, row because rank starts from one right so rank cannot take negative value so what mysql is doing is it is by default assigning it unsigned integer values right so since unsigned integer values you know cannot be negative that is what our subtraction was leading to for croatia and that is why it was throwing us an error that it is out of range so to you know make sure that we don't fall in that we cast those values as signed and since we are now allowing it to be negative now our query is working i hope this video was useful let me know if you can do this without this cast function or there is any other another way that you can think of doing this uh, let me know in the comment section and until then i will see you guys in the next video